Rumor has it this is Madonna's house. But I've never seen her here. That can be. Good morning. So first she wanted to live by Central Park, but nobody wanted to sell her property because she had to go through the whole building and confirm with every tenant that they don't mind having her there. And everybody did mind because she's a celebrity. They didn't want, you know, photographers and everything that comes with it. So this is what she did. She got that house. No, which, oh, that one, the red brick. She got that one. But I've never seen anyone confirm or prove that it's not hers. Gosh, it feels like I'm always going somewhere when it's about to rain and of course I have no umbrella. But I have my sunglasses. Does it count? Perfect timing, right? Just perfect timing. Mm. Cadbury is the best. Mm. Absolutely love it since I was a kid. My dad brought it from abroad. Mm. Cadbury. the best thing England could produce. So, it's 3 a.m. already. I absolutely don't feel like I want to sleep. So, I took melatonin. My sleeping schedule is absolutely messed up. Thank God I was smart enough to schedule tomorrow headshot shoot for the evening so 5 p.m okay i'm gonna probably sleep till 12 and then do all the prep because i haven't prepared but i have a superpower i'm pretty good at last minute preparation so i'm not really worried about it mm. so i guess i will get some sleep other than that, well, a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting today. Mm. I realized that I really, well, now I think, like, how many times have I realized it? One more time, I realized it today that I want to move on. I want to absolutely close that book. I want to burn that library, if you know what I mean, mm, and move on. Because it's been too much. Too much. I want to move on, right? Monday, already here, so I should start a new life again. I almost finished all the sweets. Oh, oh, I got chocolate in my bed. <laughs> I almost finished all the sweets that were left. So soon, I will start my 100 sugar days of sugar-free again. I don't give up on this idea. So, wish me luck or join me if you want. Just don't forget to make a wish and add something to this 100 days it has to be something challenging for you mm. so i guess that's it a lot of thinking a lot of reflection
should plan my day today. Not today. Well, it's already today. I should plan today for the time when I wake up. Because really I notice that I don't do everything I plan, but I do much more than if I don't plan anything at all. So that would be nice, you know, to get things moving, to get things done. Because otherwise nothing gets done at all or very, very little. Like these days, nothing was done. Just literally nothing. Okay, I bought some food, I bought vegetables. That's what was done. That's it. Like literally like nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's like I again thought a lot about this relationship and like with my head, I understand that there is nothing to cry about, literally. Like my standards, they were so high and I lowered them for him. Which is not a good idea because it didn't bring me happiness. I mean, I'm sure his standards were also high and I wasn't like good enough for them. That's why he left. It's just... Like, I understand how different we are. I don't even get it how we ended up together. Well, probably he was lonely, I was lonely, and we tried. It didn't work. It's like, don't get me wrong, he's, he's a good person, he's just not my person. For someone who needs everything being very structured, planned, he would be perfect, but it's not me. Like I said before, I compare it to using like maps or GPS, right? If I put an address in, I don't care how I'll get there. I don't need to know every single turn I'll make. I don't care. If I turn somewhere where I was not supposed to turn, it will recalculate and show me another road how to get to my destination. Sometimes it says like, oh, we found a faster route. Okay, perfect. Like, oh, there is a slowdown. Okay, it's okay, it's fine. So I don't care about those details, but he needs to know every single turn he needs to know every single highway, he needs to know like every single street. Like, not literally, but you, I think you get what I mean. And this makes us so different. Like, I don't know how we ended up together even, and how we spent so much time together. Like, come on, almost 13 years. It's a lot. <sighs> Yeah, I guess I should be grateful, right? That finally I got a chance to build my life the way I want it to be. And it's still painful. It's like, you know, I, ha I constantly have these conversations with myself and like this guy and this guy, they, they can't come to an agreement like my brain understands everything and thinks that everything happens for good happened for good everything that happened is for good but here it hurts it still hurts I'm angry ah uh, I don't know, do you have recipes, how to, you know, like recommendations, how to make these two folks talk and actually come to an agreement so I could feel better and move on? Like, I want peace. 
And right now, it's like these guys, they're tearing me apart. And everything I want is peace and happiness. I want to be happy. I want to do what I want, what I love. I want to do it with someone I love. And I want peace. Sometimes I feel like I'm that character, I don't remember her name. It was one of Julia Roberts' characters. What's that movie where she was a bride, runaway bride, bride runaway? <coughs> I don't remember the name. So there, a journalist comes to the town to write her story because she ran away from a few guys uh, like on a wedding day and she asked her one simple question like how do you like your eggs cooked and each guy thought that she liked her eggs cooked the same way as he liked and there was a scene I feel like it's a very powerful scene where she cooked eggs all the ways possible and tried every single one of them to figure out uh, what she actually liked. And I feel like I'm doing the same thing right now, even though I know what eggs I like, <laughs> how I like my eggs cooked, and he could never get it. You could never cook it, cook it right, <laughs> but I hope you get the analogy. That's what I'm doing right now, basically figuring out it. Like, what is it that I like? How I like it? The only regret I have right now is that I wish it all happened much sooner because I feel like I'm almost 13 years behind the schedule my personal schedule and that makes me a little bit panicky <sighs> but I'll figure it out it's okay well I hope everyone had a great Sunday and I hope melatonin will kick in pretty soon. Because, yeah, 3 a.m. Like, every evening I try to go to bed early and it never works. Well, one day it will. But definitely not today. As usual, thank you for listening and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.